consider life without social media. Doesn't it seem impossible? The new generation adores social media platforms, particularly those that make texting enjoyable. Everyone loves WhatsApp, but there has been a recent shift. Is this a monetization push for WhatsApp, or is someone looking to add WhatsApp to his collection? This mind-boggling revelation has caught the world by storm, and none other than Tesla's Elon Musk is in the spot. The software mogul became intrigued in this app and struck a deal under the table. Let us all fall down this rabbit hole together. Mr. Musk has recently been open about his dislike for WhatsApp and preference for Signal. Signal is a non-profit corporation in Russia that owns the app. Through Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, sometimes known as Alien Mark, owns WhatsApp. Elon Musk tweeted two words in 2021, use Signal. So, if Elon Musk dislikes WhatsApp, why would he purchase it? The answer is simple, he could simply delete it totally. Yet, there are alternative options. Let me remind you that he recently stated that Twitter can do better, and then purchased it to improve the software. Similarly, because the billionaire dislikes WhatsApp, he may have purchased it for the same reason. Imagine waking up to the news that the tech guru has purchased WhatsApp for $20 billion, like we experienced with Twitter. Elon Musk will have entire control of two of the most popular social networking apps as a result of this. But, when it was found that the full extent of the crisis was significantly wider than anyone had previously assumed, it became clear that this was only the beginning. Elon Musk will have his own monopoly on these social networking platforms. WhatsApp was held by the firm Meta, which was owned by Mark Zuckerberg. It's unclear how Musk persuaded Zuckerberg to sell WhatsApp to him, but that will be revealed later. For the time being, many people are concerned about the tech billionaire's recent purchases of everything. Maybe start with the SEC. Will the SEC even tolerate this insane-sounding notion because it is afraid of achieving insane dominion over humanity? Remember his continuing Neuralink project. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Neuralink, here's a quick primer. Another ambitious initiative of the tech guru is Neuralink, in which he intends to install a brain chip in every human being. This will bring technology and people closer together than ever before. So, does it all make sense now? This is possibly the inverse of the coin. Can Elon Musk be able to justify this to the world, which the SEC will investigate? Economists will fight over free trade and enabling unrestricted transactions. The SEC, on the other hand, will be the first of several roadblocks that Elon Musk will confront after purchasing WhatsApp. Something big may happen with President Biden in command and the tech millionaire buying everything. Musk has been candid about his interactions with the Biden administration. Joe Biden has stated that he does not support Musk in any way. This was demonstrated when he backed General Motors rather than Musk's Tesla. The Biden administration even granted subsidies and grants to GM automobile companies, whereas Musk received no financial assistance. Biden even owns a GM vehicle. As the public is interested in the topic, the internet mogul will almost certainly have to face a congressional committee to explain his judgment. He will also have to answer some interesting questions from people like I, as well as explain how the internet works to 88-year-old Bernie Sanders. Perhaps this will be the most viewed hearing in history. When Mark Zuckerberg was invited to the hearing and had to explain everything, we had quite an experience. Fielding opened the first of two marathon hearings in Washington by Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, rejecting concerns about the company's questionable data management methods. Lawmakers interrogated Zuckerberg for hours while he wore a navy suit and a bright blue tie. They demanded that he explain how partners might access user data without their permission. Senator John Thune of South Dakota underlined the importance of Facebook preventing a privacy disaster. Legislators questioned the 33-year-old CEO on the spread of so-called fake news on Facebook regarding Russia's meddling in the 2016 presidential election and the banning of conservative media. The controversial Tesla CEO already owns Twitter and intends to debut the Tesla phone he is developing, as well as his wild idea of brain chip implants. In addition, this Tesla phone, Twitter, and WhatsApp would be ideal for it. This will lead to the creation of an all-encompassing app, or the super app, as Musk refers to it. This app will be similar to China's WeChat. Musk was influenced by the Chinese. Not only that, 
but the IT guru would like to see payment options added to Twitter, as well as a billion active users. All of this is fine and well, but how does Musk intend to fund WhatsApp when he buys Twitter for a whopping 44 billion US dollars in 2022? He paid for it by selling a large portion of his Tesla and SpaceX stock. We may anticipate a similar price for WhatsApp. Elon Musk will need to raise funds for the transaction, and he will have to make a difficult decision on how to do so. Will banks be willing to give debt to one of the world's wealthiest people, or will they see it as too risky? Will he continue to issue stocks? His favorite bank intervenes at this moment, as it did in the Twitter case. Morgan Stanley is almost certainly the bank that assisted Musk in purchasing WhatsApp. Besides from that, we must examine the billionaire's global impact. With a single tweet, he was able to calm the Bitcoin market, and he can also raise or drop corporate share values. Would this intelligent individual have any difficulty raising a few billion dollars? Musk is extremely wealthy, and he also wields considerable power and influence. If he combines his riches, power, and influence, the tech tycoon will be able to raise a few billion dollars on his own. So why, of all apps, WhatsApp? WhatsApp is still the most popular messaging platform for everyone in the globe as of early 2023. It took over the world by storm in its early stages, competing against SMS, and eventually came out on top. The program took over basic texting and calling features and then updated them with additional ones. These features include stickers, or picture support, which is used by the majority of Generation Z to communicate memes. This has maintained its popularity, and the app now has over 2 billion users. WhatsApp added end-to-end -end encryption to make it more secure for its users and to protect their privacy. Musk has already expressed worries about it, including when he openly favored Signal over WhatsApp due to end-to-end -end encryption. Musk may have been inspired to purchase WhatsApp in order to boost security, as he claims he is doing with Twitter direct messages. Meta, owned by Mark Zuckerberg yet, the same firm that makes ridiculous VR headsets, has received a lot of flack for data breaches. When Musk buys WhatsApp, the public will be very concerned about the data that WhatsApp possesses on its customers. With more than 2 billion users, even federal authorities will be concerned about this. Elon Musk, the brilliant billionaire, has extensive experience in technology. He will, no doubt, find a method to keep the security up to date. We can be confident in the Tesla tech master based on his previous company records. Although all of this makes sense, let's dig further and try to uncover what's going on behind the scenes. WhatsApp does not offer a premium version, and it does not display advertisements on its platform as of 2023. How does it make money? At the end of the day, all businesses exist to make money. But, things have not always been this way. WhatsApp used to cost 99 cents a month. It is now completely free. It is still profitable. Not through end-to-end -end customers, but through enterprises that used it in 2021, and it made more than 8 billion US dollars. That's a lot of cash. Counting the zeros in it will show you that, despite being a money-making machine, it has even more vital functions. You may be asking what could be better than a significant sum of money. Contrary to what Hollywood may have you believe, it is user behavior that Meta uses to personalize ads and generate even more income. No, neither Mark Zuckerberg nor the FBI are reading your WhatsApp messages. That is, at least, what it says on paper, and we hope it is true. So, now that Elon Musk has purchased WhatsApp and the headlines have died down, it will make more sense for him to close the deal. We scratch our heads, wondering what he'll do with it. Maybe send everyone a Tesla promotional text or persuade you to finally get that sparkling new brain chip implant. Even for Musk, that would be an extreme measure. Returning to the more realistic depiction of the eccentric billionaire, when Musk purchased Twitter, he appointed himself CEO and made significant modifications to the platform. While we may expect him to become WhatsApp's CEO, we can also expect significant downsizing, as we saw with Twitter. After Elon Musk begins to make changes, WhatsApp will make a lot of headlines. As he will have spent a lot of money on purchasing the platform, we can expect a premium version to be released, which will be charged on a subscription basis. Either with some more features, or perhaps by eliminating some existing ones, such as open once photographs, as we saw with the verified Twitter situation, 
which is now accessible for 8 US dollars. So, hurry up and enjoy those free features, at least for the time being, before Musk wants to change things. Elon Musk can count on his devoted fan following to purchase the features and, to some measure, fund this venture for him. Perhaps Musk will say that this is the cost of increased security. One of the most intriguing aspects of the takeover will be the billionaire's approach to Signal Labs, which he has already openly promoted. Once he acquires WhatsApp, his own program will be directly vying for customers with it. Will he be tweeting against Signal by deleting his past supportive tweets, or will he be attempting to acquire the app that we believe is more useful? He might instead try to recreate the Signal features he likes and incorporate them into WhatsApp. Would this improve the user experience and bring more people to his platforms? With Elon Musk already owning Twitter, he will attempt to integrate the apps, possibly replacing Twitter DM with WhatsApp's end-to-end -end encryption text service. Overall, the data obtained from WhatsApp will assist the Twitter division in gaining more focused advertising. It will bring Musk one step closer to developing his own super app and potentially eliminating competition from other apps. As any economist will tell you, once the super app is established and people begin to rely on it, he might demand a much larger fee. What Musk can accomplish with these new platforms is beyond comprehension. He is capable of great things for both the world and himself. These platforms will generate funds for the capital required for Mars missions. He is almost definitely making these large investments to achieve his ultimate objective of reaching Mars. The foresighted billionaire has much more to achieve and surely much more to purchase. It is doubtful that someone like Musk will be born again in this earth. Is all of this too fantastical to be true? Better yet, what do you think is happening with WhatsApp in the stock market? Look out for the next video. I am positive I can gather some interesting information regarding WhatsApp's current position in the stock market. Let us know what you think in the comments below.